Hello Steve, this is John with Opals. So, editing your Opals homepage, you'll start by logging in. I'm logged in. You'll click the pencil on the far right here. That will put you into the editing mode. You'll see at the very top you can change or remove the logo. Um, here are the name of your library and the little subtext here. If you want to change this, click the T, change this, and choose the color a font and if you want a shadow same thing with this text right here okay and if you'd like to change the background instead of white you can choose these but then you'd have to change these to something else obviously uh, we have the color wheel here so you could choose different colors um, things like that so that's done right up here at the top Okay, down in here, if you'd like to change the tabs, colors, you'll just click here, and you can choose different colors for the tab. So I'm going just through these like this. I'm not going to save this, and I could go something like this. There you go. And then you'll either save and exit, save, or cancel if you're done. Okay, so that w that's just a little bit about the basics. Now... Uh, search our library. If you want to remove the tab, just click the X. If you want to change anything, like in here, you could highlight it, delete it, and type whatever you like. Okay. The online resources. Um, if you'd like all of them to have pictures, it's a bit more work, and these need to be redone. Looks like the picture's expired. Um, you'd have to pull up each of these sites and then get an image, etc. Um, if you're going to go that route, let me know. I don't want to get too heavy-handed here in this short clip. Um, but that's how you would do it, using these uh, picture. And then let me just show you this one. I'm going to click this, and I'm going to click the link. And here's the link to h hyphen Judaic. I always type click image to access. I always use a new window because the user of the library may have some searches that they have up here at the top, uh, but they'd still like to look at this. <clears throat> so use a new window is the best way on any of these images. Okay. <clears throat> Here's some news feeds, RSS news feeds. You get these by searching the net um, and find RSS. And here is what controls these title description or title show the first however many same over here just click the little cog okay uh, children's sites these are just sites for young folks um, again if you highlight this by the way i'm using firefox i find it to be easier to edit your opals homepage using firefox i'm going to click this and again here's the url for the site if I put my mouse over it, it'll say click image to access and new window. Okay. Um, oh, here's one. I'm going to add a private tab for you. I'm going to click here to add a tab. Librarian tab. I'll have three columns. I'm unchecking this and only library staff. I'll make it green. Okay. So now you're in here. If you'd like to say put a free text box. Click the widget down at the bottom to move it to the left, center, wherever. Just drag the four black arrows. I can click another free text box, move that here. And once in here, you can type in notes for yourself. And no one will see this except people logged in with library staff rights. I could even put a library showcase here, and maybe I'm going to fill it with books for a display sometime in the future, and I want to reference them. So I'm just going to leave that just, you know, like that. But this is a private tab uh, that only you will see. Actually, hang on a minute. I'm going to cancel. Just a second. I'm going to start over. Be oh, there, you already have library staff. I already did it. Okay, yeah, free text for notes. Okay, must have done it last time. Didn't see it. So I'm back in the editor. We go to the library staff. Okay, we can move that over here. And we can add a library showcase if you wanted to put some books in there for people to view. And maybe the same showcase would be in the physical library. 
and then I could put in um, another um, free text box right here and then save and exit. So I'll, I'll keep this very short. The, that's the basics. I'm going to send you another ta uh, recording that's probably the same, but it's more generic and it's a bit, I recorded it some time ago, but I'm going to send both of them to you.